Hello and welcome to Paris Set Me Free, Paris Photo Tutorials. Here we are once again in Paris. This is a different view of it. It's the, the satellite view without any labels. Can you see the, the Seine sneaking away there? That's on the west and we're going to zoom in here to the metropolis. There it is. There's the Seine still. You can see the islands. Now we're heading down to this building. Know what it is? Of course, it's the Palais du Louvre. And there's a little square there, which is quite a nice one. It's good for rollerblading and things. And uh, I'm zooming in. And let me tell you what I saw in the square the other day, walking along uh, with my camera. And I suddenly saw one of those things you don't expect to see, but you could never have predicted. This charming, uh, almost yesteryear photograph, uh, apart from the uh, massive red van with graffiti all over it, of this little girl in a kind of timeless outfit, um, little grey grey tights, nice little brown jacket, nice little greyish cap, having absolute lovely innocent fun with an enormous great bubble. So that immediately struck my eye on a slightly cold and wet, uh, dare I say, miserable Sunday afternoon in Paris. So, uh, yeah, so let me just show you where that is exactly. Just move you down to Street View, if we can find it. Okay, that should theoretically... That has done something I've got... Ah, yes, that's taken me out to World View. There we are. Right, let me put you in Street View there. Here it is. So there's the um, the, the Louvre with uh, the um, big banners, building high banners of what's on. There's uh, Rue de Rivoli and there's our square. And uh, oh, a beautiful white van, isn't that nice? There's the metro and this is where Mr. Bubble Blower was uh, doing his thing. I'm afraid we can't uh, we can't avoid that van. Ah, there we are, seeing it from a different angle. And indeed, this girl was running all over the place. Uh, you see what a lovely, beautiful, classic square it is, those lovely arches and so on. All right, so it was there at this metro where I saw this. Now, I took quite a few of these, as you can imagine. Too good an opportunity to miss. And uh, my biggest problem was to decide which one to use. All right, let's have a look. There's one. Uh, there's another. Well, just before that, there was another one of this, of this girl chasing it. Uh, compare those two. Uh, this one. Just bump that up a tiny bit. I compared this one to this one. All right, those were two of my options. Look carefully at her face. There you can more or less see it. There you can't. It's it's kind of fortuitously hidden behind this hand, which could be good for um, sort of uh, privacy issues, especially with kids. All right, so even if this one were better. I might go for this one unless I wanted to slightly fuzz out her face or not. Also you've got this big van behind which could be kind of tricky to get rid of unless you chopped it very tightly above her head and the bubble which is a shame. That one doesn't have those problems although it does have a couple of legs. Having said that, I'm just thinking as I'm talking, those legs kind of echo those legs there. Alright, let's move move along to some of my other options. Uh, here was a little kid, wonderfully, wonderful expression on his face, chasing this bubble. He's looking up towards it. It's in the air. Uh, just a couple of issues there. You'd have to get rid of this thing, which is pretty horrible. So you'd probably have to go for a photo, something like that. Alright. Um, I had a couple more options still. Now this is the guy who does it. There he is. Um, and there's an amazing bubble that he's just blown. Uh, here's another one. If you can hear a cat meowing in the background, it's Cello. Say hello, Cello. Thank you. Uh, there's another one. Stunningly, amazingly big bubbles. And look at the greyness of this with the wonderful colours of the bubble. It's really something special and such a simple thing as well. All right, and there was one more. I'm, it, it hasn't been turned around, of course. Uh, he wasn't suddenly. The world wasn't suddenly lying on its side, and this bubble has hit the ground, but still not burst. So there he is, and there's another little kid zooming in. Now the thing with kids' faces is, you've got to watch out, haven't you, really? 
we don't really have the right to put them on the internet and stuff um, even if we're not going to sell them so possibly if it's in a crowd I think you know it's fair game but if it's one little kid who and he's part of the the interest of the photo for example he's got an amazing expression on his face or a great action then it's getting a bit dodgy if you can really identify him clearly so I'm looking for ones where I can avoid that uh, what did I go for in the end well this there it is you can see obviously it's not quite the same as the original hang on here's the original and the final version now I've obviously done a couple of things why did I choose this one over this one by the way possibly a good question well let me tell you uh, if I can remember I've obviously cropped quite tightly as well um, I think this position of the guy is possibly better um, but having said that you know the metro sign is a bit a bit clearer whereas in this one here he's, uh, he's he's kind of it's right behind his head it isn't particularly aesthetically pleasing um, having said that and if, if you were able to see this one clearly uh, you see that this little kitty I think one of them is actually jumping up in the air with with excitement which is fun and with their head stuck in the bubble uh, unfortunately you can't have everything uh, also his legs are a bit more dynamic there but yeah you can't have everything so in the end I went for this one because what happened here is a whole bunch of people seem to have got encapsulated in this bubble with just their legs hanging out the bottom of it whereas here it doesn't have the quite, quite the same magic it's further up uh, they don't seem to have been I don't know enveloped in the bubble world as it were whereas in this one they they do so that's what I ended up with you see what I mean there's people's faces smiling through the bubble and so on so really a kind of surreal image uh, especially with the the treatment that I've done to zap up the colors and so on uh, really a surreal image on a, a, a drab Sunday afternoon now if we move back uh, to my other possibilities uh, that isn't any that isn't them I did have another one possibility as I as I showed you of either this this girl uh, there with the hand hidden well the cat really is letting its presence be known I don't know if you can hear that but there's a cat meowing its head off one of the uh, um, hazards of the job of photo processing at home uh, so which one did I go for out of these two well yeah you guessed it if I didn't tell you I went for this one alright another somewhat magical image uh, interesting couple of interesting things to look at here look at the reflection in the bubble uh, something weird is going on here I mean obviously we're not in the mountains we're in the middle of Paris yet that looks like a sort of mountain with the edges of some buildings it's the Louvre I think I've told you already and some sky but look what's happened here it's inverted somewhere along this line the whole thing is inverted because this is actually the same as this you see that blob there is that blob there that tower thing is that tower thing it's all inverted and created an amazingly interesting um, little picture inside the bubble the girl just doesn't doesn't need any improvement at all she's she couldn't be more expressive it couldn't be clearer that she's having fun playing with that is she gonna burst it is she not what are her hands doing maybe she, she just wants to put her hands around it and kind of hold it hug it hug a bubble today people uh, you know you should so <laughs> there it is you know do you remember the guy with his feet I've got rid of them look uh, there they were I could have got these people in you know somebody's um, legs coming out of the oh the cats the cats right here so he's really gonna take part in this photo analysis what do you think of this photo I see <laughs> uh, the, she's got someone's um, body uh, growing out of her hat in that in that one and these legs here as well all right so I I tried to crop to focus on what was important the legs are still there but but hey I've kind of taken the focus off there's a bit of a foot but then that bit of foot I've now got a cat crawling on my jeans uh, that foot there is if you if you have to admit that it's there it's kind of echoed by that one right I'm gonna go before I get eaten by a feline thanks for watching um, do leave your comments on on Paris photos dot Paris set me free dot com bye bye depuis que je suis à Paris, le jour et la nuit, je suis gris.
J'ai compris la douceur de vivre Je suis fou de joie, je suis ivre Depuis que je suis à Paris